Well, hello there and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing some really fun DIYs for Thanksgiving. I'm gonna be making a gratitude jar, a really cute bag for your friends and family to take home some leftovers. And we're also gonna be making our gratitude candles for the uh, Thanksgiving tablescape. When we're done with all that, I thought I would go ahead and share a Thanksgiving tablescape for uh, you guys to see and just give you a little inspiration. I wanna take a moment and thank Cricut for sponsoring today's video and being such a wonderful partner to work with here on my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Lauren. I do all things home decorating, cooking, and sometimes some cleaning. And if you're returning, it's so good to see you. Don't forget to tell me in the comments down below, what are your favorite recipes for Thanksgiving? I'm gonna be doing a giant Thanksgiving cook with me. So if you have any favorites you'd like to share, let me know in the comments down below. All right, let's get started. Okay guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to tackle the dining room and this space that I just redid the day before. I'm so excited, I'll show you the new piece of furniture. So now I have somewhere to put all my chargers and napkins. Um, so today I wanna exchange that for this wreath here. I actually just bought this and I will share it with you. So this is by Balsam Hill, and one of the things that I wanna share with you guys is a little bit how I transition the holidays um, between fall, Thanksgiving, and also Christmas, where I'm not having to redecorate multiple times. So I like to do fall, Halloween, then kind of go back to fall, but not as much orange, so that I can have pieces like this that are transitional, that I can actually put some picks in and make it more Christmassy or tone it down and add, maybe let's see over here, like a little white pumpkin or something to this to create a fall look for Thanksgiving. So this year for fall I have, or for Thanksgiving rather, I have some magnolia leaves I'm gonna be using. I have some real white roses, some baby's breath. I'm gonna be tucking in some gold and copper feels here. I also have a bunch of these which I got from the dollar section at Target that I'm gonna be spray painting gold and tucking that in. So I'm gonna be using some more ethereal colors. So golds, deep greens, whites. Uh, last year I used a lot of vibrant red on this table and I loved that, but this year I wanna try something a little different. So I'm gonna be using that, some tapered candles, things like that. We have our Christmas tree up over there. Um, I have a really fun tradition I'm gonna share with you guys for your family to do on Thanksgiving. Then we're gonna jump into my Cricut where I'm gonna be sharing some of my favorite Thanksgiving traditions with you guys. So definitely stick around to check those out. And then I have a little garland here. So I think what I might do is take that garland. Hi Enzo, Mimi, Enzo. She's very happy to have her tree back by the way. She's been in it. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you know she loves to climb the, in the Christmas trees. So that's for Enzo. Then we're gonna come in here. This is a hot mess express. Ooh, I turned off my um, robot cleaner. I love this thing, uh, my Robo Rock. It is the best. It just got rated the number one like floor cleaner mopper thingy, um, which is freaking awesome because I love mine. Uh, so we're gonna come in here, clean all this up, I, I still think I might take down some of this orange and maybe add some, again, some like deep greenery, but not, I'm not going into Christmas yet. I'm just not ready for it. Oh, and there's our skeleton. We need to take him down. He's too big. And our tree is starting to wilt everywhere. Oh, it's just a magical time of year, you guys. I'm so excited. Okay, so that's what we have here. We're definitely gonna to be touching up this area to bring in some more green, kind of take some of that orange out. The new table here looks good. I need to get a little tray for that or something. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so I think it's time to get started. So cute, so handsome. What are you doing? Huh? Mm, you're so cute. 
Enzo. Enzo. Enzo, look. Wanna come say hi? Wanna do it? Yes, you do. Say, I wanna say hi to YouTube. Oh, so nice, Enzo. Playing hard to get. All right, let's get to work. So to get started, there are a couple different crafts that I'd like to do uh, for Thanksgiving using my Cricut machine, which if you guys don't know, most of you guys know what a Cricut machine is, but a Cricut machine is just a smart cutting machine, and um, I can use a ton of different materials to kind of bring an idea to life. So today I'm going to be using some vinyl, some uh, removable vinyl, some permanent vinyl for stickers. I'm also going to be using some leather and suede, and then I'm going to be using an iron-on vinyl with some really beautiful full like kind of gold um, foiled uh, iron on as well so it's one of the reasons I love using my Cricut and I always love to give you guys some things to do with your Cricuts as well so I'm gonna be using three different uh, materials today to make some pillar candles what I'm getting started with here is our gratitude candles we basically the kids and I and the family will sit down and we will write down what everyone's grateful for and then we will make little little stickers and put them on dollar spot just regular white pillar candles and we'll light those on things Thanksgiving. You'll see later in this video that I put them around the tablescape and they just look so ethereal and beautiful and they also keep us mindful of what we're grateful for. The second thing I'm going to do is just make some really beautiful suede leaves that I'm going to be tying to our gratitude jars. Um, instead of kind of placeholders where everyone sits at Thanksgiving, I put a gratitude jar there to kick off the new year and inside each jar I will write a really beautiful message to each person telling them how and why I'm so grateful for them in our lives. The last craft I'm going to do after that is make a little bag for everyone to take home leftovers. Um, using the design space in Cricut, I was able to find some really pretty leaves and I'm gonna actually be cutting them out in an iron-on foil, which is gold and so beautiful. I can't tell you how adorable this turns out. I actually ended up getting the Cricut uh, little, it had, they have like a little tote you can pick up at Michael's and I'll link everything down below where at least where I got the stuff I'm using today. And it's kind of a fun way to tell, you know, when people leave, instead of putting it in a bag, you can just throw it into this sweet bag and you can continue to use it through the years. So let's get started on our crafts and I'll tell you guys a little bit more about the things we're going to be doing today. To get started on our gratitude jars, I'm going to be using my Cricut Explorer Air 3. I am so grateful that they have this ability to throw a pen in here and actually hand write everything I want for the gratitude jars. Typically in years past, I always hand write these and I have to do 30 of them. So it's so nice to be able to just put it in the Cricut machine and walk away from it. The next thing I need to prepare is our iron on vinyl for our, um, this. so the bag is going to say this bag is full of Thanksgiving and I'm also going to be cutting out some really pretty vinyl foil. I don't know if you guys have worked with this before, um, but the best way to do it is to actually flip it over. I did it the other way and accidentally ruined it, so just, just a little tip there. Um, so I'm going to actually cut these all out and get them ironed on. I'm going to be using my Cricut heat press. I absolutely love this. It makes everything so easy. I made a bunch of t-shirts for the kids for back to school and you guys saw how simple it was to just add it on. So I'm going to be putting this on the Cricut. This is an actual Cricut tote, but I'm pretty sure you can use any type of canvas tote here and I'm just gonna iron this on and let it sit and cool before I peel off the backing.
So now that the uh, vinyl has had a minute to cool, I'm gonna go ahead and really carefully pull off the backing. You'll realize if it starts to pull up, you just need to reheat it. I wanted to take a minute and address this, what looks like a tattoo on my left hand. Um, it was just Halloween here at the house and my daughter was putting tattoos all over herself. I thought they were stickers and she said, oh, mommy, can I put one on you? And so I, I just put my arm out because I was talking to my husband and I looked over and I was like, oh my God, I have a tattoo. But she asked me not to take it off, so I'm letting it. I'm letting it live, but now as I'm I'm on this voiceover, it is gone now, but I just want y'all to know I don't have a tattoo there. Um, so anyway, getting back to this, I have this beautiful foil uh, vinyl, which I love this, and if you haven't used this material on a Cricut before, highly recommend it. I'll link it down below. It is really thick and shiny, and it just goes on like so smoothly. I absolutely love it. So I'm going to kind of play around with these, get them positioned, and then pull these off and set this aside. So now on to our pillar candles. I Again, I picked these up at the Dollar Tree. You can get them anywhere. I love them there because they're only a dollar, obviously. But I'm going to be adding on all of our really beautiful little messages of things that we're grateful for. So I will do about maybe seven or eight of these. You can also just use a Sharpie. Another fun tradition you can do with your family is have the candles ready to go. And then you and your family just write on them together and light them at the table when you guys sit down. But I just love these. I think they're just an awesome, fun tradition. And it also reminds us why we're all together and what we need to be grateful for. So for the next craft, I'm gonna be doing our gratitude jar. I do this every single year. It is one of my favorite traditions, and this one is going to be done with my Cricut. I love how this turns out. I actually used two different pens. I did the uh, the calligraphy one, and then I went over it with a really pretty gel uh, using my Cricut. But what I like to do is I put this, instead of using like a nameplate for everybody, I will put a gratitude jar in front of them. You'll see that later in this video, kind of how it all comes together. But inside each jar, I will write a really nice message to everybody. This one happens to be my sister. I love you, sissy, and I am so grateful that I get to go through this life with you. I don't know where I would be without you. You are my everything, and I'm just so grateful that you are my sister because I don't know where I would be without you. But this particular jar um, I'm going to put together so you guys can kind of see how it goes. I'm going to add some pretty fall leaves to it because it's going to go with my tablescape, and then I'm going to be putting those really cute um, suede leaves behind it just to give it another kind of piece of dimension and really just put my heart and soul into this and then on the inside you're going to write a nice little note for everybody and then i will tell you how i kind of bring the gratitude jar into the actual thanksgiving day because it's actually really beautiful love how this turned out and because of the Cricut machine I just think it gives it another layer of kind of perfection that I just really love and if you guys want to see the different pens I use again I'll link them down below so you guys can grab them there but I'm gonna set these aside and quickly write my sister a little love note and throw it on the inside and get started on our tablescape
Okay guys, so our Thanksgiving crafts are done. I love how this bag turned out. This is really beautiful. I'm gonna be using this again, this um, foil iron on. It's like really flexible and beautiful. I just, it's kind of got a mirror effect to it, but I love how these leaves kind of make it look like they're washing down. It says this bag is full of Thanksgiving. This is a great bag to bring if you're going to someone's house and you're gonna be bringing a side dish or when your friends are leaving or family's leaving, you can um, put some leftovers in these and send people home with them. But I just think they're super cute. Totally would use that all year long. And then our beautiful gratitude jars. These turned out so pretty. I love these uh, suede leaves. I actually have to make 20 of these. So I only did a couple for you guys today because this video would have been a year long <laughs> had I done it myself but so this says um, you'll put your guest names mine says Sarah that's my sister Sarah 2022 gratitude jar with everything give thanks and I wrote her a little special note in there as well so I've got a couple of those done and I went ahead and finished our gratitude pillar candles so these are things we will put on the table that we are grateful for i have some simple ones we have friends family the kids will do theirs um before uh thanksgiving obviously but the other thing i like to do is add a pillar candle of people that we have lost so i added my grandpa robert uh, miss ellie our dog who you know we just lost a year ago and is just been very hard to get over her but fuzzy and geo our chickens and buttercream another chicken so luckily our pillar candle is not overwhelming and we just get um to have that and uh so we're gonna put these on the tablescape i'm gonna go ahead and put these aside while we get the table set So to get started, I'm going to be adding a wreath to this. This is kind of a hallway between the dining room and the kitchen, which everybody kind of sees right when you first walk into the main part of the house. I wanted to take some of the oranges out and start bringing in some more greens and golds and whites uh, into the space. And I just love this wreath. I'm going to link this one down below. It's a balsam hill. I have a bunch of balsam hill stuff that I'll link below. But what I like about this particular piece is I can always add some red picks into it so I don't have to keep changing all the wreaths throughout the year and it just gives such a nice subtle nod to the holidays but it's not super overwhelming for Christmas. I also picked up this new um, this is kind of just a little sideboard I picked up from Wayfair. I really needed somewhere to put all my napkins and stuff for the different holidays so I'll link that down below too if you guys are wondering where I got it but I'm gonna get everything wiped down and then I'm gonna be adding the matching chin garland to this uh, sideboard as well and then I'm gonna get started in the dining room. Today's Thanksgiving tablescape inspiration, I wanted to bring in lots of greens. I'm gonna be using this really pretty garland that I've had for years. It's just nice magnolia leaves and some really cute white picks in there. I'm going to be tucking in some real magnolia leaves just to thicken this up. I always like to start my tablescapes, at least when I'm doing a nice runner like this, I like to start with something that is like a, a garland and then I tuck in real elements just to make it a little more customized and also like really beautiful and thick. So I'm going to be tucking in these magnolia leaves. I found these at Trader Joe's. I actually found all the flowers I'm going to share with you guys today at Trader Joe's and I'm just going to start at the base. Then I'm going to tuck in all of my candles before I start adding in my flowers, which Today I'll be using white roses and some baby's breath.
now that I have all of my magnolia leaves in, I wanna go ahead and add my pillar candles. You can kind of put these on the table and then wait for your family to get there. You, again, just use the Sharpie. Write on all the things collectively as a family and friends that you guys are really grateful for. Or maybe for each guest, you can give each guest a candle when they get there and they can write all the things they're grateful for, what they're looking forward to bringing in in the new year and write it on there and then you guys can light it together. But since I already have mine done, I wanted to go ahead and add them before I started to add my eucalyptus. What I also love about eucalyptus and using magnolia leaves for a tablescape is they will actually dry well. So if you're gonna do your tablescape a couple days before Thanksgiving or even a week before, this will totally hold up. And then right before you go to put um, the table together and get everything said, like right before Thanksgiving, that's when you wanna add in your roses and any other types of flowers. You could do some red roses or some mums. Like you could really go use any direction you want, but I'm gonna be using most of this today just so you guys can kind of see how the inspiration unfolds. Like having all of these white roses in here I feel like bringing in some lighter colors is just gonna give a nice ethereal clear space for us to kind of build a canvas for Thanksgiving tablescape the other piece of advice I wanted to give you if you guys go to a somewhere like Trader Joe's you can always go where they have the greenery and just get a bunch of that if you don't have like a green base uh, little garland like this one or even just like a Christmas garland and then tuck in some beautiful flowers and some candles but now that I have the uh, centerpiece done I'm gonna go ahead and start doing my tablescape. I'm gonna be using some really sweet gold chargers. I didn't wanna do anything too dark this year, but with Thanksgiving, it's kind of um, our biggest plates are our black ones. I do need to get some new plates though. So I'm gonna be using these black plates and then these really pretty magnolia leaf wreaths that I picked up at the dollar spot at Target, which is just kind of the perfect touch to tie the two together. And then I'm gonna use just a simple little napkin and a napkin ring before I kind of start to tuck in all of our beautiful gratitude jars. So for our candles, I'm gonna be using these I picked up from Amazon, I'll link them down below. They're very, very simple to use. You just throw a couple batteries in them and tighten them and they turn on. And they also come with like a little remote control that you can tuck in whoever is going to be at the head of the table. I always tuck it in with the head of the table, make them do all the work, but um, go ahead and grab those. They're really simple to use all season long. And once I'm done with that, I'm gonna go ahead and start to put all of our place settings down. So those will be our gratitude jars. And I also picked up these really cute little turkeys that I think are another great substitution if you don't want to do the gratitude jar but you want to do something those little turkeys you can just put people's names in them even use your Cricut to handwrite their name in calligraphy and add that as your kind of your table setting but I just love how this turned out and I feel like it's such an inspirational beautiful tablescape that really transitions beautifully from Thanksgiving to Christmas
So the last piece I'm gonna add is my Balsam Hill garland. This is the same as our wreath, so I kinda wanna put that over the sideboard. That way everything kinda reads the same. Since I am bringing lots of green into the house for the Thanksgiving season, I'm gonna be adding some pieces on the table, on the wreath, and then on the sideboard. So when you turn the corner and look into these spaces, everything kind of reads the same. That's one of the reasons I wanted to pull some of the orange out and also slowly transition into Christmas. But instead of adding adding some super Christmassy things in here. I wanted to add these really simple uh, white pumpkins, which I picked up at the dollar spot at Target. I've actually had them for quite a long time, but I'm gonna tuck those in just to keep things a little bit fall Thanksgiving and not get too Christmas yet. And then I will show you how everything turns out. So here's the tablescape all finished. I really love how white and light this is and how intentional this tablescape is. I feel like it's packed full of love, full of gratitude, and it's just a wonderful setting for anyone to enjoy the holidays. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is one of many Thanksgiving decorate and cook with me videos I have to share with you guys. Um, but I just wanted to kind of get things started and give you a little couple points of reference for how to kind of start to think about decorating your table for Thanksgiving and also some fun crafts that you can do to bring some gratitude to any type of family function this year. Thank you so much for watching this video. Definitely give this video a like if you enjoyed it and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye!